Hey guys, this is a Peacekeeper Task Guide for Humanitarian Supplies. For this task, you have to locate and mark the first and second UN trucks on shoreline and mark them both with MS-2000 markers. You also need to obtain and hand in five Emery ration packs. You can just buy them off the flea if you don't happen to have them, or you can pass in your found and raid ones. It's totally up to you. And then you also have to eliminate 10 scavs on shoreline while wearing the blueberry uniform, which is the Untar body armor and helmet. And then you also have to survive an extract from the location one time, but that can be any time from the point that you accept this task until you complete everything else. So here's the map of shoreline and the first truck that we're going to be marking is down by the crane area and then my PMC will be starting just up on the hill in between the crane and the pier entrance. All right guys, so I'm here on shoreline. The weather station is up here on top of this hill. The broken house is just on my right and further right is where the crane is located inside of the blue fenced in area. So that's going to be our landmark and where we have to go in order to get our first UN truck. We're going to go inside of this blue fenced in section and just be aware there's usually two to five scavs that are in this area. But as we move closer to the crane, just on the other side of this portable bunkhouse is going to be the first UN truck. You just have to run up to it, place your MS 2000 marker onto this. Let the timer run down and if you do happen to die while the green text is still on your screen, while you are planting either one of the two trucks then you will have to come back and then replant the truck that you died while planting but as long as the text is off of your screen then you are good to go and even if you die in between this one and then the other truck then you will not have to come back to replant it so now for the second truck it is going to be on the back west side of the admin building and my pmc is going to be starting at the helicopter in between east and west wing in the front of health resort so I'm here at the health resort up on top of the helicopter and then this is where the west wing is and the east wing is right here. But we're going to be running straight underneath the sky bridge all the way back to the admin building. Now I wouldn't really recommend running this path if you are in a real game because you are open to basically everywhere in the health resort. I would recommend more so going through the west wing or out of around the back of the west wing side of the resort. But since we went through the admin building then we will turn left and then come all the way out through the back door until you see a truck with the UN marked cargo in the back. And then this is the second truck that we have to mark. So once you come back here, then you will have a prompt to throw down your other MS-2000 marker, and then you will get another timer. Once that timer runs down and the green text is off of your screen, then you will have both of your trucks marked. And it is also worth noting that sometimes the sniper scav that is on the rock out back by the north bunker can have a clear line of sight at you while you are approaching this truck or planting. So just definitely keep an eye out and or kill him before you try to plant this truck just to be safe. So since the last part of the task does require us to kill 10 scavs on this map while we're in the blueberry getup, which is the Untar helmet and also the body armor, I figured I would make you guys an up-to-date list of kind of where the scavs spawn. I noticed a lot of the old guides still have these scavs spawning in their old places like up here by Road to Customs and then here by the Ruined Road as well as here in the village. But now as of last wipe, then that's no longer the case. So I wanted to give you guys the option to path out a route that you could take and then also how many scavs that you could expect to be in a certain location because it is very possible to get all 10 of your scav kills in one raid for this task. If you were to avoid any of these scavs in particular, I would say these ones up in the top left that are kind of on the way to Path the Lighthouse, these scavs are literal terminators. So if I had to avoid any confrontation with any of the scavs on the map, then it would be these ones for sure. I also did place the three Sanitar spawns on the map just so that you guys are aware because his guards are literal aimbot and they have a larger health pool than normal. So just so that you guys can be aware when you are approaching in the pier, the cottages, and then also the east and west side and admin areas of the resort, that Sanitar does have a chance to spawn. But anyway, hopefully this guide was useful to you guys and did help you to complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and have a fantastic rest of your day.